This video demonstrates how to create the client table. We will add a lookup field for trainer number to relate the two tables. Click on the Create tab. Click the Table button to create a new table. Click the Click to Add column heading and select text as the data type. Type client number as the field name. Click the white space below the field name to complete the change of the name. Click the white space a second time to select the field. Change the field size to 4. Click the required checkbox to make the field a required field. Click the unique checkbox so that access will ensure that values in the field are unique. Click under the click to add column heading to produce an insertion point in the next field. Click the more fields button to display the more fields gallery. Click the name dash address client start field that you added earlier to add the last name, first name, street, city, state, and postal code fields. Right click the last name field to produce a shortcut menu. Click delete field to delete the field. Right click the first name field to produce a shortcut menu. Click rename field to rename the field. Type client name as the field name. Change the field size to 30. Add the amount paid and current due fields. Both fields have currency data types. Save the table, assigning client as the table name. Click the Click to Add column heading to display a menu of available data types. Click Lookup and Relationship to display the Lookup Wizard dialog box. Ensure that the I want the lookup field to get the values from another table. Option button is selected. Click the next button. Click the trainer table to select it. Click the next button. Select the trainer number, first name, and last name fields for the columns in the lookup field. Click the next button. Select the trainer number field for the sort order. Click the next button. Ensure the hide key column checkbox is selected. Click the next button. Type trainer number as the label for the lookup field. Click the Enable Data Integrity checkbox to select it. Click the Finish button to add the lookup field. Click the Save button to save any changes.